Welcome to Heart Anatomy. This is for the Bio 4 class at Cabrillo College Human Anatomy course, the spring of 2020. And I just want to take this opportunity to outline some features of the heart we've already discussed and add some new features. And I am going to do this in the order of, or the route that blood flows. Once again, it doesn't matter where we start in this order, but we are going to start right here, which is the right atrium. Right atrium. Then blood is going to flow into the right ventricle. It's going to flow from the right atrium into the right ventricle via a valve known as the tricuspid valve. And we'll talk about valves more specifically, how they're composed and how they work in another video. Blood is then going to flow th from the right ventricle out the pulmonary trunk which is also the pulmonary artery. Once again, any blood vessel leaving the heart is an artery. Blood will return, and let me just highlight right here, is another set of valves. Either These are the pulmonary semilunar valves. Blood leaves the right ventricle through the pulmonary artery, goes to the lungs, picks up oxygen, and returns back to the heart via the pulmonary veins. And the pulmonary veins are challenging to get a grasp on in this photo, but there's a pulmonary vein there. And there's another pulmonary vein, or a couple pulmonary veins right there. I'll just abbreviate PV right there. So pulmonary veins are bringing back oxygen-rich blood to the heart, so then the heart can pump that blood throughout the systemic circulation. The pulmonary veins drop blood into the left atrium and from there blood is going to proceed into the left ventricle and that'll be moving through another set of valves known as the mitral valve or we could call it the bicuspid valve. Mitral valve or bicuspid valve. And just so things are a little bit more clear, I'm going to move this right there so it's not confused with the bicuspid or mitral valve. So from the left ventricle, Blood is going to be ejected from the heart, from the aorta, which is the largest artery in the heart. And that's going to pump blood throughout the whole, whole systemic circulation, not the aorta throughout its course. Arteries will diverge and split off the aorta along its course. The further away it gets from the heart, the more branches they're going to be off, coming off the aorta or coming off other arteries. But we can see immediately off the top right here, there's three arteries immediately coming off of the aorta. And actually, there's one even before those three. The coronary artery comes off of the base of the aorta. And we'll talk about those in another video. So blood is ejected from the left ventricle, moving through the aorta, 
systemic circulation, dropping off oxygen to all the tissues of the body, dropping off nutrients at the capillary beds, and then it returns to the heart via the venous system and, and returns to the right atrium via two, actually three structures. One is the inferior vena cava, and the other one is the superior vena cava. And then that brings us right back to the right atrium. One thing I neglected to point out here, and that's because it's not in the picture, actually it is in the picture now that I see it, is this right here. This represents the aortic semilunar valve. So when blood is leaving the left ventricle into the aorta, it first must pass through the aortic semilunar valves. And like I suggested earlier, we'll do a video just for the four different valves of the heart. Okay, that's it for the detail on the heart. One more thing as I see this right here, this structure is the aorta as well. So the aorta is a very long structure, leaves the left ventricle, curves around the base of the heart, goes posterior to the heart, and all the way down into your abdominal region. Okay, thanks for listening.